Hello everyone. Uh, hopefully this is going to be a short video. I know I keep saying that a lot and it ends up being really long. A uh, couple of things. Um, firstly is I just want to say uh, like a massive uh, thank you to to everyone's support and, and, and people that have been watching my videos. The, this last week it's really sort of blown up. Um, I've, I've got a huge amount of uh, new subscribers so you know hi and thanks very much for subscribing. Um, the views, uh, particularly on, on the roofing video I did, have been absolutely um, fantastic. So I really, really appreciate that. All of your kind uh, words and comments, especially in, in, in the comment section, uh, particularly in the roofing video, have been absolutely amazing. I think pretty much every single comment has been really, really positive. And you know, I particularly appreciate the, you know, my, my carpentry uh, brothers and, and sisters up and down the land who, who, who have commented and, you know, they've... Um, they've said some wonderful things and you know they've caught a couple of things that they might do differently or things that you know I maybe missed out and, and you know one of the big things I missed out was that when you cut um, it, again if you are clever enough with how you measure out your jack rafters when you cut the seat cut of one jack rafter the off cut or the negative side of that does the opposite side um, so I kind of missed that but again thanks to you know all of my sort of fellow carpenters who who, who picked that up and they put it down in the comment section and the comment section is absolutely amazing because and I know I should know this because I've you know I, I watch YouTube videos and I, and I love reading the comments in other people's um, comment sections on their videos and I, I do you know um, I do get involved with that as well and always in a positive way and it, it gives an extra dimension to the video it gives it more life after it's finished so you know thank you to everybody that, that gets gets into the comment section is really good it's really good to hear how loads of different people do loads of different things and you know there's people from different parts of the world sending messages so it's, it's really really wonderful and it's it's great to know that you know there's lots of guys um up and down the land in this country and many others that are doing you know ex exactly the same thing um so the second part and and the, the reason for this video apart from that was um, it's a bit of a trail really uh, i had a um, a comment from someone called uh, Robin. I, I'm not going to say um, assume this person's gender because it's 2021. So uh, Robin made a comment on one of my carport videos, which was you know back right when I started, all done on a really cheap old smartphone and a um, an old GoPro. I mean, thank you for that uh, comment, Robin. Um, but it did remind me that there was some footage. Uh, on the hipped gable end that I did there and it, it wasn't like a how-to or anything but the hipped gable end is something that it took me many years to get my head around how to set it out and sort of pennies dropped you know obviously a few years ago and now I find them sort of really easy to, to set out but I know it can be really tricky because a hipped gable end you know you've got you've got the sort of the the hip part is landing on a different plate height than the rest of the roof so a lot of it's to do with how you set it out once you can set out your plate levels and sort of get your overall roof lines it is pretty straightforward it's just normal sort of hip you know end type cutting um, so there's a little bit of footage which I sort of nicked off the off this video that Robin very kindly uh, commented on and it's just a trail I suppose and hopefully um, you know will Give you an idea of what the video is going to be eventually when I do it, which I'm hoping to do it this year. I think I've got a project coming up that's got a hip to gable end, and hopefully I can get uh, hopefully my son again to video me, and we should be able to produce a video that will shed a bit of light on how we set out these barn barn ends or hip to gable ends. So once again, thank you ever so much for all your support, and you know it's been wonderful. Thank you. Okay, so I'm working on this little hip gable end here um, I can't go into how I've done it really because um, I've only got one hand and uh, the other hands on on the camera but basically as you can see here I've cut in my this is what I would call a common rafter um, and this would be exactly the same as the last common rafter if this was a full hip but it's minus half the thickness of your um, truss or rafter material here because the, the center line is this edge is not the, the correct line the center line is the correct line of the roof so that the, the correct sort of triangulation line of this roof is up up the center there and then down the center here and so I've cut my first what I call common rafter in and I know everyone does this a different way um, and then 
basically I intersect my hip at the top and then that sits down on the bottom here um, I've done one sort of long cut on there rather than a corner cut which you'd normally do um, but, and then as you see the, the roof then lines in perfectly all the way up and down so maybe if I get uh, a chance to do another hit another hitch roof which I do plenty of I might be able to get someone to hold a camera for me and I could maybe explain explain it in a bit of a better detail basically the way I look at roofing is it's a bit like mathematics um, and an example of that would be the number four um, the easiest way to get to number four is two plus two um, but you know you can also get to um, the number four by uh, one plus one plus one plus one and it's a little bit longer but you still get to the same number and that's what roofing is about as far as I'm concerned um, as long as the, the number is the same it doesn't matter the mathematics how you get there lots of people have different methods to do things but realistically as long as as long as the pointy bits at the top um, you know that's all that counts mm -hmm.